Hey guys, welcome back. I'm getting a little sick, so you have to deal with my voice and maybe some coughing, but I spent a lot of time the last few days working on layout maintenance, cleaning some things up. I've got some wiring that's being worked on, some track issues being worked on, which means we have a very small portion of the layout powered right now, which is perfect for a rolling stock review. And today we're going to look at the Rapido Trains Pullman Bradley coaches. These are 8600 series coaches. Rapido Trains does an excellent job on rolling stock. Matter of fact, one of my first um, pieces of rolling stock came from Rapido Trains. So we're going to take a look at this and see what you get starting right now. Alright, I'm going to try to go quick with this review because I don't know how long my voice is going to hold out. I'm going to unbox this quickly for the first time. Looks like we got some literature here. And it looks like decal sheets with different numbers that can be applied. And the protection for the decals. Rapido. Looks like a White River Productions order form. So, or White, yeah, White River Productions. They do real good stuff like Model Railroad News and Railroad Model Craftsman. And I just hit the camera there, but you also have a quick exploded parts diagram showing all the components. MSRP on this is $99, and you can get discounts off of that, obviously. And there are lots of components, as you see here, this coach or these coaches are decked out. So actually into the coach here, Quickly unwrap. I even have a bunch of looks like extra grab irons on the back because I see separately applied grab irons already on the coach. That's tightly wrapped and taped here, so I'll just grab this tape. Let her rip. There's the tape coming off. Ooh, three points of tape. All right, you guys don't need to see this. I will forward. I don't know if there's any tape people out there that are like, oh yeah, undo that tape. So figured that wasn't something you really wanted to see. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in and look at some details on this coach next. So just a correction, this actual packet that came that I showed you was not grab irons. It was stirrup steps. The 8600 coaches were built with stirrup steps bolted to the corners of the cars and they were included because uh, there's no real way to ensure that they would survive all the packing and shipping. So there's separately applied parts that you would put um, on the coach on your own. So let's take a look at some detail, starting with the corner here. You've got Rapido's very own manufactured McDonald Cartier couplers uh, that come factory installed. You have the diaphragm, which is spring-loaded. Just tested that out real quick. You've got the walkway gate, which is actually deployed right now, so you can see the walkway gate is on there. You've got the door handles for to assist passengers to get on. You have a coupler cut lever, and you have some uh, accessory hoses down here, and another line right here that's already installed. So a lot of in detail, we'll zoom in on that just slightly so you can take a peek. On the end here, you've got the door for the passengers to get in. Interior detail is very, very nice and it's color coded. So a lot of times you see manufacturers just kind of put all one plastic molded color into the interior. These have multiple different colors, whether it's location of the seats, tabletops, flooring, it's all in there and hopefully we can see that a little better on video when we have it lit up because it does include DC and DCC lighting. You've got New Haven, the logo right there, car number right here, really nice truck detail, 
<clears throat> and where repeater really sets themselves apart, you've got the roof detail here, but you also have just superior underbody detail. You never get this much underbody detail on passenger cars. And as you can see, it is just highly detailed. I'm not going to break down every part for you for multiple reasons. One, I don't know them all. Second of all, the uh, there's just too many to mention here, but you can see all the interior detail. And you also can see the steps here that are stowed under, under the coach doors. Looking at truck detail, just catch the light right. You can see those trucks are fully loaded with detail <clears throat> and nicely done. And you have more of the same detail on this end of the of the car with the diaphragm and the gate again. So, Rapido, I would say, produces, if not the best, some of the best passenger cars out there, fully loaded out and fully detailed to a very, very high quality. So you can probably see from this angle that the stainless steel finish is pretty much on point. It's uh, very well done, not overly shiny, like, you know, they're real cheap, just blinds you, uh, metallic, overly metallic finish, um, but it's, it's really nice. And to see the detail, you know, all along this thing, like the steam line at the end under the coupler, you know, just really nice, really nice detail. Um, the other thing I kind of noticed was the window gasket detail is nice. Sometimes you see breaks in the paint on the window gaskets. I don't see that in this case. Factory did a nice job. Uh, the lavatory, or where the toilet is, the crapper, depending on where you're from in the country or the world. Uh, Le Poupel. Um, they have the frosting there, so you can easily uh, not be seen if you're at a standstill and a pe peeping Tom wants to look in. So. Just like the real thing, there's frosting on the windows and it's nicely done. And, and if you look really closely, it has that rigid or that ridged appearance. This camera is hard to focus sometimes, but there's a ridged appearance in the, the frosted window, which is also correct. So good job uh, from Rapido from what I see on this car. I'm getting fingerprints all over it, but other than that, awesome job. So the first one we looked at, the first coach was the McGinnis scheme and the second one we're looking at here is the New Haven delivery scheme so just going to show you real quick since we went over all the detail um, there's car specific details on these so they're really nicely done obviously era specific since one era predates the other but I wanted to get a close look of the actual model here and do the old Vanna White for you guys real quickly. So here's an, another variation. This one a little different than the other two because this is non-skirted MBTA scheme. So you can see um, one difference is obviously the frosting on the lavatory door is a little different on this one. It's just a white out versus that rigid look. Obviously the scheme's different. Uh, you can see the steps to the actual entryway for the coach there you've got the diaphragm gate it is the same color as the end of the diaphragm on this one versus black just some of that detail I was talking about that is actually uh, specific to the era and type of coach so there you have it. There's the MBTA scheme. All right, so here's the light a little dimmed out on the layout. So you can see the coaches here. Wasn't all the way on the track. I'm gonna run by all three coaches. You can see a little better the interior detail, but I'm not giving up yet because I wanna get even closer on this. So there's the coaches, nice interior detail, and even the differences, the way the lighting bounces off different areas looks like, you know, some lights may be brighter than others and, and etc. Lavatory is all 
blocked out there so like I said nobody's seeing you do your business or your models do their business and uh, I think the lighting's just right I've seen really bright lighting that overkills everything but we'll do the same test we did on Rapido's UP passenger cars years ago on one of my reviews I kill the lights we look for shine through and I'm not seeing it here so okay get one off the track again but there you have the lighting no see-through on any of the coaches other through other than obviously the areas that you're supposed to see through which is the window and just slightly through the lavatory so good on point lighting appears to be flicker free because my track is extremely dirty so I don't know if there's a capacitor in there but getting no flicker so far because my track work is definitely not perfect so good to go um, let's take a look closer into these windows here is an interior view really cool details such as see-through armrests on the seat and as you saw the color variations of both the seats in certain areas the flooring it's what you'd expect from a very high-end piece of rolling stock in this price range but well executed nonetheless well that wraps up the review on the Rapido's 8600 series coaches the Fullman Bradley branded coaches and I think they did a really good job at Rapido of making these coaches and I think we are looking at an era of a little bit more expensive rolling stock but at least the features you get in the rolling stock are very nicely done of really high quality to the tenth degree of detail from the underbody to the interior color variations to the flicker free lighting to the lighting not seeing you know no see-through lighting where there's not supposed to be in, in the body portions of the cars to the nice lettering, nice stainless steel detail um, that's not too cheesy, overly done, etc. So really well executed car in my opinion and I think they're very nice and as always you know you can get discounts off that MSRP depending on where you're purchasing from so it's not always the MSRP, the scary MSRP that some people write me about. So. I don't know what your thoughts are, but I hope this review was quick and somewhat to the point, but yet showing you the detail and it'll give you what you need to know if you're deciding to buy these. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.